guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day today. As you can tell from the title below, today I'm going to be talking about my July and August favourites. Over the last couple of months, I've been really, really busy, and that is mainly because I've been going to university. I would have already touched on this a little bit in my last favourites video because I did start in June. In case you don't know, for some reason, I'm doing a film and television course, so our first big assignment was a short film, and I put it up on YouTube but I had to take it down because of copyright issues. As soon as we were done with that short film, we then began working on a live studio show and that was incredibly fun. I worked with the most amazing people in our group and I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to add it to YouTube so you guys will see it. It is called Send the Trend. It's a fashion-based show and I think I'm able to add it this week. I've also done two other exciting things. One of them was that I went to the YouTube meetup which was in Melbourne. That was such a good experience. It was my first YouTube thing and it was just really really cool and also the second exciting thing was that me and my boyfriend and my parents went to Falls Creek and even though we're only there for a couple of days it's just always such a good experience and it makes me really really happy to sort of just get out of the house and just go somewhere for a few days in case you're interested in seeing anything I just spoke about I vlog everything so if you watch my vlogs you will see it all I feel like I've been talking for so long now so I'm going to move on to my other favorites I have been absolutely loving two products so much to the point that I've actually finish them and that doesn't happen much because usually I sort of switch it up a bit, I use a bit of that and a bit of this and the first one is this Trilogy Vital Moisturising Cream and my mum gave me this because I think she didn't like the scent of it or something. I'm so glad that she did because it's been the most amazing thing for my skin. Like I've actually been loving my skin lately. I don't really get pimples at all anymore. My skin isn't that dry anymore and I haven't really got an eczema on my face either which is such a big surprise. I think it's like $45 maybe 40 when it's on sale, and I can't bring myself to pay that much for a 60 mil thing. Like, that just seems ridiculous. The second thing has been a facial oil, and I've been loving this Rosehip Certified Organic Rosehip Oil, and it also is enriched with acai berry and antioxidant oil, and I got this for my 18th birthday at the start of this year. Even though this is in a tiny little 20 mil bottle, it actually lasted for ages. I started using this in May, and it only ran out in like August. I think it has like a little bit left. Left, but it's pretty hard to get it out. Completely understand the obsession with rosehip oil. At first I kind of thought, whatever, it's probably just oil. Oil's always going to be good for your skin, so it's probably that people have just started using this one. But this one is actually really, really good. I like it mainly because it soaks into your skin so fast. I just wanted to explain something to you guys now. It's not a favourite of the month, but it's just a hair journey I've had for the last couple of months. Basically, I've been using this purple kind of paint hair dye, just one of those that fades, and I've been loving it, but it's it's been frustrating me that indoors my hair doesn't look purple at all but then I go outside and it's really really bright so I wanted to lighten my hair but I wasn't willing to bleach it so instead last night actually I decided to use a hair color remover it actually managed to take away quite a bit of the color not much of the purple which is fine because I wanted to keep the purple anyway my scalp right now is my complete natural hair color and I haven't seen my natural hair color for so long so it was so so cool seeing it and also in the lengths of my hair but mostly underneath it's brown and there's sort of like highlights and stuff. Anyway, actual favourites wise, I have been loving this device which is the VS Sassoon Wave Envy. I got this about two or three years ago. My hair was pretty short, like right now my hair goes down to about just below the boob and it was probably up to about here when I used to use it. It made my hair look really, really frizzy and I sort of just accepted it. I thought, oh, okay, that's just what this does. So I didn't use it for years and then I decided to randomly try it a couple of weeks ago because my friend Jodie suggested it because she loved it and it looked great. It's sort of like crimping but it's like soft curves. That's the best way to explain it because it's definitely not curled. I used it for my last video so if you look at my mini movie reviews video, that's how I made my hair look like that. And it only took like five minutes so it's awesome. Another thing I love about it is that it lasts for days. Like I do my hair the first day and two days later it's still wavy and usually when I get my hair curled it drops in a matter of hours so I was really really impressed by this. I'm going to show you guys something that most of you guys haven't seen before and I've actually been using it heaps but I really wanted to use it a lot before I spoke about it. It is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I got this from my friends Jodie and Emma for my 18th birthday 
and I was so so surprised because I wanted it so much but I just didn't think about anyone else getting it for me. The main thing that I love about this palette is that I love every single colour and that is not very common for palettes. You know how usually you have like a palette and you use probably about five or six of them the most? This, I love every single one. All of them were really, really wearable and they looked so nice on me. I actually have the shade Pistol right now on my eyelids in case you're wondering. If you guys watch my vlogs, you would have seen every single one of these on my eyelids. So this is what I've been using in case you've been wondering. Thank you again to Jodie and Emma for buying this for me. I honestly love it so much and I've been using it almost every single day. I feel like most of you guys are gonna know this because it's really, really obvious because I've been wearing it so much and it's the one that I'm wearing right now. It is the Maybelline Color Drama in the shade New Perfection. I am absolutely obsessed with this. I just think it suits my skin tone really, really well. And also, I love how it makes my lips look. Like, I never really thought of my lips as a good feature on my face. I kind of just thought, eh, I have standard lips. But I actually like how my lips look in this. Other than the shade, I just absolutely love the Color Drama range. I have a purpley one, an orange one, and a red one. And I just love applying them. I think they're the best formula. They're really, really pigmented. I've been wearing these at least four or five times a week, which sounds absolutely ridiculous, but they just suit everything. And I like how they look on me too. I have been wearing these jeggings from Cotton On. I know most of you are probably cringing at the word jeggings because there is a big stigma towards it, but honestly, these are great. They look so much better on me than jeans ever would. Every time I used to wear jeans in the past, I'll just not feel that great about my legs. Not because they were too big or too small or anything, but I don't think it really showed my shape too much. They were just too baggy in some spots and too tight in others. But obviously, because these are jeggings, they are super comfortable and they're also so, so fitted. They fit so well to my shape and I feel really, really good about myself when I wear them. Ignore all the stains all over these. These really, really need washing. I just wanted to show you guys that on camera. It's fake flowers from the shop Daisio. I don't know how to pronounce it properly, so I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. And I knew about these from the YouTuber Rachel because she mentioned it in a video. I know they are kind of tacky and it's sort of cheap to do that instead of buying normal flowers, but I do not have the money to buy fresh flowers all the time. And I wanted something that I always had in the background of my videos and I didn't have to replace and then sometimes I didn't have it and stuff. I think it looks good in my room. I had them sitting over there, by the way. I'll put them back now. See, there are a few like this. It's my my drink favourite is pretty lame, but it's just something I've been enjoying lately. Basically, I just love adding fresh lemon juice into water. That's all. Simply that. I just think it tastes really, really nice. It's super refreshing and plus, it is really, really good for you. I recommend you try it if you haven't tried it before because it's just really, really nice. And I've been so sick over the last couple of months, so it's been a really, really good way to feel refreshed and detoxed and stuff. Food-wise, I've been absolutely obsessed with burritos from the shop Mad Mex. I just love how much you can put in them because you can put beans and rice and then heaps of vegetables and avocado and chicken and oh my god, and like the pastry stuff around the outside is all like gooey and soft and oh. I love it so much. I want one right now. I haven't even had lunch and it is five o'clock, so I'm very hungry. I have been reading so much lately and that's mainly because my phone hasn't been working very well. So it meant that all of my trips to and from uni, I read heaps. I've read so many Frankie and Yen magazines and I've also been reading more of the Happiness Projects. I know you guys have heard about this for a long time and it seems like I'm just a really slow reader. It's mainly because this book is a story, but it's sort of chopped up into months. So a lot of the time I, you know, hardcore read one month and then I won't read it for a month. My boyfriend and I are still watching Lost. I think we're up to season three or four. By myself, I've still been watching Keeping Up With The Kardashians because I just love that show. And I think I'm about halfway through season six, so I haven't got too long to go until I'm up to date. Oh, in case you guys are wondering, I've also been watching I Am Kate. I'm only three episodes in though because my boyfriend and I are watching it pretty slowly, but I'm loving it so far. I find it so, so interesting and I get really, really emotional when I watch it because it's so important to me. Also, one last thing, my boyfriend and I have been watching this season of The Bachelor and I'm really, really loving it. I love the guy a lot more than I did last year. Sam seems really, really genuine and he treats the girls a lot more respectively than the other guy did. Obviously, there's only a certain level of respect with shows like this because you are, you know, dating so many girls. 
but he seems to care a lot more about their feelings, which is really, really nice. Let me know in the comments if you watched or are watching Lost and Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and if you're watching The Bachelor right now. I would love for you to comment below which girl is your favourite. Mine is personally Heather. I'm only going to talk about this very, very quickly, and that's because one of my most recent videos is actually dedicated to reviewing all of my most recently seen movies. If you personally love hearing about different movies, go watch that video right now. You'll find that super, super helpful. My favourite movie over the last couple of months has been Shaun of the Dead. I don't know if many of you guys would know it, but my boyfriend has always loved it. It's one of his favourite movies. I think it was so well written. The story was really, really good. I loved the editing. It was absolutely amazing and it was so, so funny. I haven't been listening to a huge amount of music lately and that is mainly because my phone is completely full and I haven't been able to sing music across. When I went to Falls Creek, I had my laptop with me in the car, which did have music on it. And one album that I loved was Beyonce's new album. It's not actually that new, but it's her most recent one. And I just love it. I think it is really, really different to anything else I've heard. I love how it tells a story and it's very sexy, which is really, really cool. There is a lot of sex related music, but it's usually in such an obvious way, but I like how this is quite subtle and it's not necessarily the lyrics, it's like the beat and stuff. Please let me know in the comments what your favourites from these categories have been. Obviously, I doubt anyone's going to want to go through each of these categories, but even just one of them. So, one last thing. Over the last couple of months, I hit 700 subscribers and I would like to thank you guys so so much for that I appreciate it so much I always thank everybody on my Facebook page all the time but not many of you guys are on there so I would love it if you could go and give that a like right now because that's the main way I communicate with you guys I'm already heading towards 800 I think right now I have about 750 and I'm so so excited about it, so thank you so much anyway I hope you've been having a good last couple of months and I hope the next two months are even better bye guys Minky. No, she doesn't move at all, but her tail does. Minky is coming with you. Not with you, but you know what I mean. The first thing are these flake flake flowers. Oh, so many wedgies. Why?